Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome. This is Mary Springuli, owner of Voice Aerobics, and I thought that this would be a good time to do a little updated video on the breather uh, and the respiratory muscle training kit or the accessories kit. So, um, since my last little video, the breather has been redesigned. And the breather is a flow resistant respiratory muscle trainer. These are handheld devices that have been around for many years. They're designed to help improve the way you use the breathing muscles uh, and also to strengthen the muscles. For, uh, in our case, uh, my case, for working with patients with speech and swallowing problems. So the breather looks like this um, when you take it out of the package. Uh, and it has some additional settings from the original version. It still has two dials, uh, one which says exhale, uh, inhale on your side, and one which says exhale. And as you turn the dials, you increase the resistance, uh, which uh, makes the muscles work harder on inhalation and exhalation, just like weight training. And um, so when the mouthpiece is intact, you're just gonna inhale and exhale through the device. My settings are at three. And um, technique is important, so uh, you don't wanna be using your cheek muscles. You wanna keep your lips pretty tightly sealed around the mouthpiece, and you want the flow of air to be forceful, uh, but not fast. Otherwise you might get a little dizzy. So a number of years ago, I began to use a manometer uh, with the breather, and that's just a pressure gauge that made it easier for me to judge a patient's level of effort, and it makes it easier for you as the user to be able to stay calibrated to the amount of effort that you need to use on inhalation and exhalation uh, so that you don't get a little lazy and just be puffing on it like a pipe. So when I connect the breather to the accessories kit, I'm gonna take the mouth, mouthpiece off and that just snaps off and it can only fit one way. So if you're reattaching it and you're trying to put it that way, you can see it doesn't quite fit. Uh, so again, an easy connection. The breeder comes packaged with a 22 millimeter connector. And so I'm gonna make that connection. And then your accessory kit comes with a, a mouthpiece that's packaged. So it's a sterile mouthpiece that's packaged. This is all single use. That means you should not be sharing your device with anybody. Uh, that mouthpiece fits into a 22 millimeter connector that is always already attached by some tubing to the manometer that you're gonna be using at home. And this manometer or pressure gauge is gonna show exhalation, it's gonna move on exhalation only. So I'm gonna attach the, all the connectors to the breather and now it looks like that. But I'm gonna use the device exactly the same way. I'm gonna inhale and exhale through the device. So you saw the dial move to 40 on the first uh, breaths, 50 on the second breath. We measure that in sonometers of water pressure. So I typically take an average of three breaths uh, or more with a patient, but I average usually three breaths, three exhaled breaths. And that's gonna become the patient's maximum expiratory pressure as measured at the mouth with a manometer. So this is not a real scientific measurement, uh, but it, it is a real suitable measurement for us and for you uh, in use at home to help again, keep you calibrated to the level of effort that you need to be using each week uh, to attain a target that's been set. So for this week, we'll set 40 centimeters of water pressure, 40 as the target. Most training protocols ask that you train within about 70% of your target. So sometimes the dial may only move to 30, that's okay. Sometimes you may actually overshoot the target and go to 50, 55. 
that's great. Uh, but you always want to be aiming for that target of 40 centimeters of water pressure. And then week by week, uh, you will increase the resistance as tolerated. Uh, you'll establish a new maximum expiratory pressure, and then you'll train, use that as your target for training that week. Uh, I always um, request that people use the device at least uh, five days a week for four weeks because exercise is exercise, and anything less than that is unlikely to yield an exercise effect. Um, and um, when you are done using it in, uh, with the manometer, you can always just take the connector off, take the 22 millimeter connector out, put the mouthpiece back on, and you can use it to, that way if you prefer. The breather fit, as I mentioned, is a more, um, even a more recent model uh, designed for healthy adults or athletes who might want to incorporate respiratory muscle training into their workouts. Uh, so it has, uh, like the original breather, dials that go from one to six on inhalation and one to five on exhalation, but the resistant levels are even set higher. So again, think of it like working with even heavier weights. Uh, but the device looks the same way, the mouthpiece comes off, the connections are gonna be the same as with the original breather. So I hope that that's helpful to you uh, and better helps you understand how adding the respiratory muscle trainer kit or accessories kit uh, to your breather might uh, improve your uh, training. All right, so thanks everybody and that's all.